Okay, so we are here for our first Savage Core battle report at Heresy Productions. And today my opponent is Dan, who will be playing the Simeon for us. I'll be playing the Neanderthals. Now, Dan actually expressed interest in the Simeons as soon as the rules came out. He was quite <laughs> interested in them. And so what I'm interested in is, what is it about the Simeons that you are so interested in and feeling today? Well, that is very easy. They can go Kubrick with their gigantic bone. In the test of Dan. Sorry. Ads of Neanderthals. You see, knowing you, I thought it was their distrust of humanity that you most identified with. For sure, that was. Okay, well for me, I would have to say that with the Neanderthals it has to do with optional bathing. And um, the fact that, you know, they, I like things like medium rare, rare, and so just undercooked meat is probably, and, and optional bathing is probably the thing I'm most, sure. most interested in. And fleas, when you bite meat. This is true, this is true. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the forces, and we will show you a little bit about what we're going to be doing today for the game before we get started. So today we will have the Otang Simians, and this is... Uh, going to have a boss that is holding the spear with the hand down on the right hand side right there with two groups of bods which for the simians that's four each so a total of nine models and then switching over to the other side we have the neanderthals this includes one boss the neanderthal in the center with two groups of bods, three each, and they're deployed this way. Now, Dan did win the initiative today, and so he was able to deploy first. Neanderthals have decided to have a little bit of a concentrated force on one side with some spread out. There's one there that was hard to see behind the bush there. And then uh, the simians have grouped together a bit more. Now, terrain is decided between the players. Essentially, these sort of patties are rough ground, which the models will be physically standing on if they choose to. And everything else is determined by eyeball, line of sight. So stalagmites and all of these bushes um, are going to be impassable terrain. And then this big piece in the center here will be um, impassable due to eyeball, but rough ground to be able to move on it. So. We are playing today a simple battle report. We're not using any of the scenarios. Um, we're using the, the basic rule of who kills the other boss first wins. Um, this will potentially um, cause less double troubles because some of the scenarios do increase double trouble encounters, which are creatures and other things you meet in the Savage um, Core. But uh, we're just sort of wanting to get the rules down today, so we're just playing a bit of a basic game. Hope you guys enjoy, and um, we will start filming at round one. So, um, we are going to start with determining to see which force gets initiative, and so we each roll one die. Here we go. And you rolled a two, and I rolled a ten. Now, that's typically going to mean that I want initiative, but in this case, my boss has a moxie of five, so that puts me at fifteen, and... Um, Dan, your moxie, or You're your boss, seven. seven? We'll nine All right. So Neanderthals take initiative. So first thing we need to do is determine in the phase of who's going to be a trickster. Um, I'm going to determine whether my guy is going to be a trickster this round. I'm going to try to um, do clunk the hero surge, where I can throw my club anywhere on the board, ignoring line of sight. And um, in order to do that, um, I just, in this case, I don't have to pass a test. I just launch my club and see what happens. So I roll a five. I don't know. If a one, two, three, five is rolled, it is a miss. So are you going to be a trickster this round? I will. I will use fingers. This means the, my boss, the, in this moment I forgot the name, uh, Thinking Brow. He's going to try to steal one of the power of our Neanderthal friend. If I roll... And it's a relic, right? A physical object. Yeah. yeah. If I roll uh, 4 or 10, once per game. And... Oh, <gasps> great. Oh, Let we roll. roll. 3. And miserably fail too. Okay, so those slippery fingers were a little too slippery, I guess. Yes. Alright. <laughs> so, now we go into the movement. 
Sorry guys for the very boring, tricky phase. <laughs> okay, so we go into to movement. So um, our Neanderthals have a basic clip of one, and then um, the boss has got a clip of three. And so here we go. Um, so after some rolling, and um, Neanderthals have moved up. We have one that's kind of moved up pretty far here, and the other ones just have shuffled forward here. And now we watch the simians. The simians start with the club dude, Reyes. It would be three plus, not great. So three plus your clip. There's three, four. And it would be five. We continue with the guy with the spear for a total of seven. So Simeon's have sort of stayed in a group and have all shuffled over to the right. And uh, still a bit far away, but um, getting closer. And so now we would go into the next phase, which is um, tricky customer, excuse me, um, um, close range, in range comp conflict, which both happen at once. Uh, I'm not seeing that anybody's probably within eight inches. I mean, we definitely can't do melee this round, but um, as we're approaching closely, but um, I don't think anybody's within eight inches. And so in this case, um, there isn't probably gonna be any conflict. Now, um, we also didn't get to the initiative in the beginning of the round of double trouble, and so that part's not included. Uh, but like I said, it's the way we're playing the game today, it's less likely that we'll have one. Uh, but you never know. We'll see. And so we will start with doing the initiative for the next round. Okay, so we are now starting round two, and where we will roll for initiative to see who has that again. Two and a three. So my two... Um, well, I definitely would lose that one because you've got a seven yeah, and I've got a seven. five. Yeah. So this time, um, Simeon's actually get the initiative. And so, are you going to be a tricky customer this round? I think I will try to do a game. This time, I will use shiny bo bubbles. Okay. This mean again is a kind of random. I have different color that the dice will decide. And the color is nine. Purple. All right, so Simians have moved up, penetrating much further into the Neanderthal side of the territory of the board today. And so now we will actually see what the Neanderthals are going to do. And so my guys have a clip of three for the boss and one for the bods. So I'm going to start with the boss. So that's only five. Not great. Now we'll do the ones here. Clips of one, three. I'm going to do this guy next. Seven. Neanderthals have moved up. And now we're seeing our first opportunity potentially with some range combat. Um, the way my opponent and I agreed before the game, as long as we had eyeball through the impassable terrain piece, like over this edge here, then that was allowed. But if it was going through something where we didn't have eyeball or a line of sight, then we wouldn't be able to do it. And that was mutually agreed upon before the game. And so um, both of our characters now all... all Creatures, uh, creatures slash beings in Savage Core have the ability to grab a rock or throw a spear. Uh, everybody has the ability to do some range combat, so it doesn't have to be something modeled specifically on the model. Um, and so in this case, my opponent has um, initiative. And so are you going to choose to throw something at me? Yes. Uh, everyone knows what do the monkey in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And so uh, you're needing to use your moxie in order to, to hit me, correct? Yes, we checked before and realized that only these two guys obviously are in range. Yeah. I will start. My moxie is 4 for a total of 11. All right. And so then my moxie, in order to be able to dodge it, is 3. And with 7, I am one less than you. Okay. Gosh, that's Simeon agility. Well? Just beat me out. 
So we're putting tokens just to record hits. Um, my opponent and I are just using clear tokens for range, uh, black for melee, and red to show wounds on, or I should say tick, on um, the bosses. All right. And so now um, I'm going to throw something back. Okay. And so you're, I get the free to try. plus three. So again, ten, same exact number. Okay, let's see what I can do. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay so I miss you. All, All right. right. It's way easier to uh, avoid an axe, the flaming poo. Oh yeah, that's true. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, now we go to the next phase because there is no other um, shooting or melee to do, and so we will actually resolve conflict. And so I am the only one that needs to resolve at this point, which is pretty easily easy at this point. But and so I will roll on the table for that, and that will be I roll a six. And so what do we got there on the close com uh, the range combat for nothing, six? Nothing happened. Yeah. Go without. Uh, sorry, yes, you almost had my eyes. You almost had my eyes. Okay, so I will take that away. I yeah, escaped and no, that. And no damage. All right. Okay, so now we are going into round three. Okay, so top of round three, we are rolling for initiative. Again, moxie of both of our bosses going against each other. And so Sorry. Neanderthals are not, don't, do not have as much moxie or swagger as the simians, of course. And so, all right. Let's go seven for me. Ooh, a nine. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, so... Yes. Yeah. Predictably, Neanderthals actually uh, lose out on that one. And so, are you going to do... Are you going to be a trickster this round? I will. I will go bananas. That means that I will roll my movement so, and multiply by four. So this is your mob scene. Um, yes. So this allows you, you, you um, to essentially move other characters that are within your um, radius of your boss of 12 inches. And so, okay, so what do you need? I need to roll my, okay, my minimum number of uh, bolts mm -hmm. have to be four, and there are. Okay. And I need my smart score of ten. The smart of the leader of the monkey is four, this means six or more, and I got it. Okay. Okay, so, um, because I was not going to be a tricky customer this round, um, Dan had moved his simians with the Go Bananas mob scene trick which he can do once per game and so but it basically makes him just like go nuts with his movement and they all all of the simians have run up to and isolated this one neanderthal over here um but it's not over yet as far as um the like situation for the neanderthals because now it is their movement phase and so we will come back and see where the neanderthals end up Okay, so Neanderthals have sort of slowly um, moved up for the most part. One of them sprinted to the aid of his fellow Neanderthal, perhaps his brother, um, we don't know. But essentially we have two Neanderthals in base-to-base -base contact with three simians and a whole bunch of simians that are in, within throwing range. Now in Savage Core, you can't throw out of melee, like as you're, when you're too busy swinging at each other, there's no way you can actually start throwing stuff, but it is fair game for everybody around you to throw stuff at you. And so um, my opponent has the initiative, and we'll do, um, yeah, maybe we'll just figure this one out on camera and just see how this one plays out. Um, and the, the melee and the throwing, as I've mentioned, happens all at the same time, and we're using tokens just to record hits. So, okay. Okay. If you agree, partner, I think no one of my simian can try to throw projectile in the combat because my own guy cover. Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, you can. You still can't throw throw uh, without eyeball. But I would like to measure if someone can pepper with my fantastic uh, projectile. Sure. Of ob obscure nature, uh, the answer is no. Okay. And actually, I should probably check just to see. I just assumed that I forgot that my Neanderthals can throw, perhaps because I'm playing Neanderthals today, I'm a little slow on the uptake. But uh, actually, my leader can throw into this combat. And would you agree that that guy can too, or no? Um, oh, no, definitely yes. Yeah, so actually, I have two guys that can throw in. Um, okay, 
So that's interesting. I actually thought it would be a lot of bananas being thrown, but apparently not. No? Well, digested banana. Okay. Okay, I start with the close combat phase. I will start with this guy mm -hmm. against him. My buff is just two against the incredible bulk of the Neanderthal. And the first is a three. That okay. means nothing. Because if I remember the Neanderthal yeah. buff is... My, well, the... This that was uh yeah the buff of the Neanderthal is five for the standard, and so. But I will go Kubrick. Okay. Red now. Okay. With this guy, just not too bad. So yeah, five. five. So another three. five. Yeah. Three. Okay. Wow. And sticky pointy against uh, only the same guy. Let's see. Oh, but seven. Nice. So now you got uh, nine. A nine. Okay. So, 8. So actually I do get a black token on that guy. I do have to um, see damage result on him at the end of the, the turn. Okay, and so um, that will be it for you, for your attacks? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. Well, maybe. Let's oh yeah, maybe no, he, can, he can definitely yeah. throw, yeah. Uh, Moxie is um, 4 and 12. All right, and my moxie is only three, so that just, I'm gonna have to roll pretty well. Um, no, and so I got a also a ranged attack on him. And that's okay, all, for me. all right. Well, we'll start with the the ranged attacks over here. We'll do um, first the non-leader um, throwing into this monkey here, and my moxie again is three for them, and so nine. Nine against. The... Okay, token for me. So what did you get? Four plus your moxie of... Eight. Okay. And then I will throw over Bugnag. Now his is... Moxie is five. I'm going to dodge this one. Ooh. I think that one's cocked, or what do you think? It doesn't matter to me. Pretty wrong. Okay. That's... Ended up on some foliage there. All right. So five plus five, ten. Uh, four plus six, ten. Okay. So, um, in this case, I believe it goes to whoever has the higher stat. And so your moxie is what? Just four. So mine's five. And so, because it's the leader, and so it actually goes to, uh, to me, you actually get it. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, now I will do a melee attack with a um, buff of five for melee. So eight. Oh, maybe I can save myself. Two plus? No, four. Okay, so then he gets a black. That guy's really getting a lot of hits on him. What? I can hear the screaming. Um, you wish. <laughs> he would save himself. Well, since he's got so many hits on him, he's going to choose to hit this guy. A few, not all. Buff five. <laughs> Seven. Ooh. And you had a buff of what? Eight. Uh, sorry, two plus six, eight. Yeah, yep. Okay, so then nothing on him. I think that's it for me, right? Yes, we'll check. All right, well, we'll come back and do combat resolution real quick. So end of round three, and we're now figuring out the conflict results. And so we're going to start with the simians because they have initiative, and they have two ranged attacks and one um, melee attack. I and so... I start with the melee palm, Okay. and I will check the table, and six. It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. That is. That means that you're nobbled, and next turn they must roll two dice for all attacks and always take the lowest. Yes. And so we will, um, you know, we'll, we'll mark that guy if he survives these two ranged attacks, because now you've got two ranged attacks as well coming at the let's, same guy. Let's go. I need to roll five or more to save myself, and nope. Okay, so one of the ranged attacks still does come through. And that is it for the nobbled Simeon. Okay, so same for me now. Um, I will start with the melee attack on my Neanderthal. So I roll a nine. You laugh in the face of death. Oh, that is still totally the unfair. So no effect. Ha ha ha. Yeah. And now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry for your one uh, that you are going to roll, you know? <laughs> so now, ranged attack. A four. So, go on without me. The ranged attack does actually take out the Neanderthal. So I guess I shouldn't have laughed. No, you should. 
few okay. people can survive fl flaming monkey poo. So both, both sides have tasted blood, and we will be coming back into the beginning of turn five, or four, turn four. So now we're at the top of turn four, and we will roll for initiative to see who starts out this latest rumble. Okay, I have my seven. They will allow me a nice victory this time too. Two. Uh oh. So you got a total of nine. Roll a two, please. Oh. And so five. So no, I roll an eight because uh, I have just five. So you mm -hmm. still win. So so fast, Simeons. Yeah, like you definitely got the initiative again. And so, are you going to be a tricky customer? I think not in this phase. Okay. Well, if my if I have um, somebody with an eight. I might be able to do something. I do. So, um, I'm going to see and maybe do Bowling Ball, the Hero Surge, which my um, boss hurls one of his bods, one who's within three inches of him, in a fit of rage, instantly putting his bod in base-to-base -base contact with any enemy within eight inches of Bugnag, who is actually the official name of this guy. But uh, these are the Heresy Neanderthals, so I might have a different name in the future for mine. Uh, the enemy figure may not disengage this turn. And so, I am going to throw this guy to him. No roll, nothing? No roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, in this fear? case. Yeah, but it is situational, right? I can only use it... Uh... Oh, that is true. Okay. Everyone is favorite projectile. And I don't have to resolve anything. It's not like I get a free attack on you or anything. Um, the only thing, you, you just can't disengage that particular simian. So, because we know your guys like to run. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, you have initiative. So are you going to start with your movement? I will. I will start with this guy over there. Okay. And let's go with a reroll. Okay. All right. So four. Oh, 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 oh. And then your clip. Seven. It makes you total. All Three right. Plus four, seven. Thank you. Can you move me seven in mm -hmm. this position, please? To here? Yeah. Try to be in range of this guy. Okay, so do you want to go there or yeah. around? Perfect. Right here? Okay. Too short. This, <coughs> this other heroic guy will try to move in this direction for a total of 12. That is dangerous. So where do you want him to go? You can choose, you don't have to go the full distance. Yeah, I will go here. No. Okay. Rushing him. But I will try to rush with this guy, this guy, if I roll enough. Things. So it has to go to closest, right? Oh, right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I will rush this guy. Yeah. Uh, I need to do a guts roll, right? Um, well, you're moving him. Yes. Then he's not disengaging, so no. But the rush... Uh, oh, you, you are rushing. Okay, sorry. Yep. So the rush, you have to do the guts roll. Okay. You're right. And the, my guts is three... Plus the result of the dice. Is so you rolled a five. five. I should obtain ten. You uh, over, yeah, it's like ten or over. So ten, yeah. Ten. Okay. So just button. move him. Yeah, into contact. Okay. We'll go here. Now, counting the my senior, I'm not particularly strong. I will go for runaway. That is always the best solution. My <laughs> boss has uh, four for clip. For a total of thirteen. It's going to move around. Put him okay. here. Okay. Followed by him. Simians have finished moving, so it looks like some of them have decided to strategically go around this piece of terrain here, and then we have some that are mobbing this one Neanderthal up here. And so now we'll see the Neanderthals decide to see what they're going to do. Um, this guy that's the closest, I'll obviously just try to. Um, move him in, but I'm going to try to rush, just because he's so close. Now, um, with rushing, we, they get an advantage, it's like charging, but you have to roll for uh, mocks, or guts, actually. And so in my case, um, my guys aren't that gutsy, like I have a guts of two for my Neanderthal, so let's just see if he can do it. So, yes. what we're just going to check, because I do remember, I don't know if it's over ten or um, exactly ten. So rules are, as written are at least 10, so my guy does rush, which will give him plus 2 to his buff. 
And so we'll remember that for him. And now um, we'll look at the head guy. Um, now we have here um, the head simian, and then we have the head Neanderthal. So he is, is he within six is the question. Can I get a rush on him? And he is. So I'm going to first try to do a guts, uh, guts roll. Now he being the leader has a six. So, so I definitely get it. Yeah. And so we have two now. Um, we just consulted the book again, and yeah, like it does imply that um, if you have a successful rush, that uh, you have made it in. Um, you can't do it through rough terrain and things like that, but um, yeah, like you still have a chance to do a movement roll if you fail it. But um, but yeah, so he has successfully rushed, um, and that so now we have two, and so we'll look at um, th uh, this other Neanderthal that is up here, and I am going to just sort of pan a little bit because we have. Some other guys, we have a guy that's in the paddies here on rough terrain and one behind him. So he's going to try to go. Now he has a movement of one. So nine, that actually is ten, which is, wow, that's pretty good. Yes. So that actually puts him into base-to-base -base contact here. Aww. Very surprising. And now we have this guy who's in rough terrain, so his movement is halved. So it's three rounding up is going to be two. He's not made it out yet. And then I'll do this last guy here. He may need to run around this. Ten, actually. So that does make sense to run around it, I think. He can just get up to here. All right. So that is the end of Neanderthal movement. Okay, so we're in the close combat range phase of round four. Simians have initiative. And so what are you going to do, Dan? Okay, I will start for uh, kind of some Simplicity with the only range attack that I can have. There is this guy against the guy with the club. Okay. I will solve immediately. Mox is 4. And for a total of 11. Okay. And so my guys just have a moxie of 3. And so that gives me 6. So then I definitely get a, a hit on me by range. Okay. Okay. After, my guy with the stick will attack in. Uh, Close combat, the guy with the spear. Okay. This one. My buff is only two, but okay. that will be the dice that solve all the game. Oh, no. Okay, I'll say, yeah, because I have a <sighs> five. And go Kubrick with the guy with the club again. Okay. Nope. Oh, dice, dice, dice. And spear against with the guy with the club. Okay. Bit better. Ooh, so I then need a ten. Ten? Okay, let's see here. Oh, I beat it. All right, love those. That, those Neanderthals are kind of uh, is totally stubborn in in uh, hand to hand. Oh, totally unfair, and can I? Well, let's go with the climax. My boss against your boss. Okay, so your buff on him. My buff is four. This is okay. very high for a simian. Oh, only eight. That okay, so my my buff good. is eight, and so in this case. Oh. Yep. Nothing. Okay. To do. Okay, that was a. Sad round for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we attack back, and so I will start at the top here, and so this guy will actually do hand to hand against him. Go on. And so it's five of a buff, and so I rolled. It looks like it was cocked. Yep, definitely was. So if I eight. Eight. Ooh. The six at least, or no? Okay. Nothing. So then we got a black marker on that guy. Um, the guy that is below him that is hit will actually also attack the same one. And five, so it's eleven. No, twelve. There are four. Yes, five. thank you. <laughs> and well, we can. T oh, great. Okay, another one. Okay, someone. I think he's going to go to find the monkey god really soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so now um, this guy here is going to attack the guy with the club. Go on, and I know fear you. I'm just scared to death. Seven. Oh my. Someone cursed dice. You need to be throwing stuff at me. I try. I try. <laughs> and now we will do, as we talked about, the final battle here. So I have a buff of eight with him. Oof. And so it's 16. Okay. We don't waste time. 
Okay, now they do have multiple wounds, so that one's not uh, as quick. And so, um, you've done yours, I've done, I've done your attacks, I've done mine. I think this guy probably can throw us. Oh yeah, you're, you're right, yeah. I forgot that my guys can throw stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, my guy is with, he's within um, rough, but we had said in the beginning that these ones that have eyeball through rough we can throw fine. So that's true. Well, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, he's within, so he'll, I'll throw one with him. Now his moxie's only three, so seven. Again, he's... Oh, that is a terrible round. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so do you want to just go straight to resolution? Yes. Alright. Uh, so then, okay. uh, do you want to just start at the top with your guys and then I'll do mine? Yeah, I will start uh, with this guy. Oh, okay. Your yeah. top, yeah. Okay. My top? Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Range 1 to 4 is going to depart. Oh, great. Okay, so he is gone. Okay. He's gone. My boss. Let's hope that is very tough. 8 or 10. Haha. Ooh. Nothing happened. Alright. Resilient. Oh. Okay. Now you got this guy here. Yeah. I think we forgot that we have a wounded guy in my side. Well, sorry guys. Have a wounded guy? Yeah, technically one of my guys should roll two dice and pick the lowest. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but the, that's to my disadvantage, but I, I guess uh, that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah we're, we're just we're learning the rules today, so... Can't even Normally, try. yeah, you would have a... a you don't really need anything to hurt you anymore right now. You're actually having a bad round, so... But yeah, you're right. So you had one guy that was actually... Uh, from He was uh, bobbled uh, from last round, so yeah. yeah okay. I forgot to check. All right. Okay, the guy with the stick? Yep. Close combat. Oh, he saved himself incredibly. Okay. And now the guy the on top that has two melee attacks. I roll two dice. I can do something incredible again. Almost. What did you get? Bobble? I get uh, Bobble. Okay, so which one is it? I got Hurt. We'll put a blue next to him. Yep. This time we'll remember it. Okay. Alright. Well, actually, he, he at least that guy made out pretty well. Yeah, and counting how was my roll was good enough. Okay, well then I'll start with mine, um, which is just uh, this guy here. Yep. With one range, and so you know that my flaming uh, on a one deadly. through on a one through four, it's go on without me. So he actually did get something thrown at him, and he is dead. Okay, so that is the end of round four. We'll come back for initiative and start with round five and see how this fight with the bosses works out. Okay, so we are in the uh, top of turn five. We're going to roll for initiative. So, the moxie of your boss versus mine. My boss is going to be seven All right. and nine. Oh. All right. Ooh. Ah, finally, Neanderthals actually do get initiative this round. So, am I going to be a tricky customer? Um, I think I am. And I'm going to use a relic, the Spirit Jar. When the Spirit Jar is activated, a deceased Neanderthal bot is returned to play. The bot possesses the same stats as he did in life. The bot, however, has a freakish spectral appearance. It cannot be rushed. Yeah, so I'm just going to put him, like, here, I think. There. All right. And so then now I do movement first. Oh, if you don't mind, that would be tricky too. Oh yeah, no, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I suppose I should allow that. I answer you with your vile move with the exact same move. What is yours called? It's called a monkey paw. It's the exact same power. Monkey paw, huh? Okay. Yeah, not to confuse with the projectile. Right. And where I want to put my guys, I will go... Oh, very smart. Here, to try to relieve... So we, so, we, pressure. so we can only do this once per game, so we've both given up our resurrected uh, abilities. Okay, so then I will start with movement. Um, we already have these, some guy. my guys are already in melee here. So I will um, start with, uh, I suppose, this guy that, that just came in. Yeah. And so he has five movement, but I have to go to closest. And so the two zombie... Uh, beings are going against each other. Now I will do this one. Now he's in um, rough terrain, so I half it. So it's six plus one is seven. So that's going to be four because it's rounded up for distance. Yep. And 
technically I have to go into closest. Now this under here I think is not on the base, so I might I think it would probably be fair that if yeah, I yeah. just put them in here. Go on. Up in base contact. Oh, seems that the zombie is not going to survive too long. <laughs> the monkey zombie. And then here comes this guy here. So only a measly two for him, so I am going to move him um, I think I'll move him this way. All right, and so we will do your movement. Okay, I tried to retreat my boss. We had the, I need to do a guts roll with a result of 11. My so you're going to disengage and you have to do a guts test for your boss, okay? 11, 6 plus. Oh, so he makes it. Makes it. And so he does a normal movement roll now? Yeah, Okay. 4 plus Ooh. 6. 6. That was not too, too bad. I go just here. Okay. <coughs> My small dude over there is going to move. Ooh. For a total of six. But Strategic. He's going just to move yeah. over here. This guy move minimum. And okay. go here. Now, this guy is going to try to rush against okay. the... You is difficult, but let's try. The gut is three plus. Ooh. So you rolled a ten. Thirteen. So you definitely, definitely got it. Yeah, go. So let's throw. Um, oh, let's close. I'm supposed to go here. Okay. So yeah, we put an orange token on the guy that's rushed. That'll be our standard color. Okay. Just remember and that. Last, my guys just move twelve line of sight on this. Okay. And that's within your normal clip, so it's fine. Yeah. We have done. Okay, the so then I will do. Uh, the yeah, beat, the beating. That's right. Okay, so um, let's see. Yeah, it's funny because he didn't actually get a chance to move because of your sly, cunning simian tactics. You can always throw a stone. That's true. I suppose I could do that. Um, well, he'll try to throw a stone at, um, and it'll have to be actually at one of these guys. I will, um, it has to be the closest actually, and so... Yeah, I think I have the same, but you can pick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's closer, so I'll just do it against him. And so, for him, his moxie is five. So, ten? Ten, my moxie is four. I need at least, uh, not that. Eh, take a stone in the face. Okay, so that's one hit, and we will try, um, let's see, we'll start at the top here, hand-to-hand -hand combat, now that guy is bobbled, and so, um, roll two dice and choose the worst. Yeah, so, um, first try that, so his, uh, his moxie, I mean his buff is five, so, thirteen, yeah. uh, we might as well roll. We're not going to waste time. You can get that in it. Okay. And then um, we'll use this guy here against the guy that um, has charged, or I should say rushed. And so four, so nine. Nine, and no. Nope. So you got another, you got a melee hit there on the guy that had rushed. And then we'll go, um, he's already done his the leader, his throwing weapon. I suppose he can throw at him. Yeah, if he's in range, for sure. Yeah, so only a measly uh, moxie of three. And so, twelve. Yeah, and three. All right. Oh, great. So, throwing weapon attack against him. And then, um, this guy in the back here, first, will attack him with a melee. So, uh, buff of five. So, actually, fifteen. And yeah. so, that's going to be fairly automatic on him. And then lastly, this last hand with all, 7, 13. 12 again. Ah, gosh. Thank but, you. But it doesn't matter because... I'm, I'm, I'm fittingly playing the hand with all well today. Definitely. Um, <laughs> okay. So, um, we, those are mine. And so now, now you do yours. Um, okay. Zombie monkey against zombie Neanderthal. Okay. Well, that was 
Yeah. No great. Oh, five. Nothing happened. Okay. Now, this guy against this guy. Mm -hmm. Seven and two, nine. Okay. Humiliated. Yeah. Rush guy, plus four in total. Ten. Yeah, and you, add, you added your uh, yep. plus two? Okay, good. Okay, so then nine. Yep, so he gets the rushed guy does put one on him. <laughs> A beating. And All right. close combat between yep. these. I'm sorry, I do that because I am sad. Uh, oh, useless. right, right. Four and two, six. Nothing okay. happened. Because if I roll a one, it'll still be six. Yeah. Okay. And let's go with the range attack. Okay. The the guy with the bone mm -hmm. is thirteen. Ooh, I don't think I can actually beat that one. Uh, I guess if I roll a ten. Nope. Okay. So hit on him. All right. Oh no! Wait. We have a fine. This guy against yep. the. The, the boss seems the closest, right? Yes. Okay. Twi uh, sorry, 11. 11, okay, and so I have a Motsi of 5. So 15. Okay, the guy with the stick against the boss. Mm -hmm. 10. Okay, so I, t I would um, take a hit there. And uh, can you check the range of my boss against your boss? Oh, it's definitely within 8. <laughs> Prepare, the, you're going to enjoy this one. 7 plus 15. Oh, right, I don't know that I can do anything with that. Oh, I, have... I will tell you. Oh, now. actually, yeah, no, I wouldn't, because even if it was even, it would be your stat. Yeah. Okay, so that's two hits on him. Ooh. You are okay. We are covered, you know what? <laughs> that's right. He's in flames right now. Okay. So, um, now the, um, the bobble thing goes away next turn, right? Is that, uh... No, I think it's permanent. Is it? Nobbled. It says, and next turn they must roll two dice for all attacks, so actually, you might as well take that blue token away, it's oh, gone great. now. Uh, I think it was yeah. wounded for It's that. not permanent now. Great. Okay, so, um, I've got an issue, so I'll just start first with my wounds here. We'll start with the ranged attack right there. So we've got uh, four, and so that means he is gone, because go on without me. Okay, and then here we've got one melee attack against him. And so two, you cut me, same thing, he's gone. <laughs> oh, decimating them, huh? Yes. yes. And then now um, we have the boss, and these are both ranged attacks. So a three, so he will take one wound and replace that with a red. And then again, that was a five, so actually he, that other one he avoids, he almost had my eye out. Okay, my turn, I start with the single guy. This one? Yep. Is crushed by the stone. Okay. Now. I take a ranged attack with this zombie monkey. Okay. He survived incredibly. Okay. Uh, survived the both uh, the terrible melee. The answer is yes. Oh wow, that's amazing. Wow. So that was actually pretty good. He's a zombie. That's right. All right. Oh, we still got. Yeah, we got two more here. Two more here. This biggest guy here. Ooh. He got. Stun or whatever it is. Yeah, it is nobbled. And the guy that was nobbled before, he'll leave us. Okay. Alright. Well, at the end of this round, um, we now have, which was five, and we now have um, one, two, three, four, five simians and the boss, and we have one, two, three f simians. Oh, excuse me, uh, Neanderthals and the boss. So it's almost like, I would say you have the advantage right now, but it's almost, and then I also have a wound on him. 
um, my boss, which is probably the biggest difference, um, but it's it's kind of close, right? Uh, just because yeah. uh, body count wise, you might have like a slight advantage by like a half a monkey. <laughs> 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 so if you do the math, I suppose. But uh, all right, well, we'll come back and do the initial roll and start off round six now, right? Okay, so we are at the start of turn five and we will roll initiative again. And so uh, you want to roll first with your. Sure, I roll nine. Okay. And I roll 10. So the Neanderthals again get initiative two rounds in a row. Surprising. And so, um, let's see here. Uh, we will do, I'm going to do be a tricky customer, I think. And I will do my, try to do, this is hard because my guy's not that smart and I have to do a smart roll. But I will um, do a... Uh, Stone Circle, which is my mob scene. And so, my guy's smart is three, and in order to do it, I need to have an 11, is the minimum. Nope, so I can't get my Neanderthals to coordinate. Okay, and so are you going to be a tricky customer? I will do. I will play my relic called All Seeing Eyes, okay. listening for this undisturbed, or my seamen are not affected by the A ball mechanic. Meaning okay. That they can engage range of conflict to any terrain. So you don't need to have line of sight or eyeball um, okay. if you make. And do you actually have to roll for that or no? You just have it? No, I have it. Okay. Okay, so we will start with movement. Um, I think I have to go closest, but uh, so he's going to try to go this way. He's going to, and I think I think those are the same actually. Yes. I'm going to try to go to the the novel guy, so I do get it. So. Um, should have tried to rush, but I didn't. I just do a normal move there. Okay. And these guys, I'm going to keep in their face-to-face -face contact there. I'm not going to try to disengage. So then it's really just him for movement. Um, I think I'm just going to move. And I will have two plus three, so I have five inches. I think I'll move here with my one wound. Now it is your turn. Okay. That monkey is locked in combat. Yeah, we remain in combat because if I try to go away, I need to do a very, very high roll. This guy will remain in combat, but these two guys, they are going to move. Okay. Okay, starting with him for a total of nine. I position myself here. And these are the monkey have line of sight on your guys. I'll stay yep. there. I'll stay there. The boss is at the clip of four because he's notorious the most heroic monkey ever. <laughs> he make a layer of his. Uh, Oh no, he can go here, okay. and, and this guy can simply move over here okay. to give to your Neanderthal boss a fantastic thing to squeeze in the future. Alright. I think we are okay. Okay. So then we will start our melee or our close combat uh, ranged attacks. I'm going to start by hitting the nobbled guy here. So buff of five, so eight. You will roll two dice and choose the worst. And a one and a two. <laughs> yeah. So you definitely get hit. That is unfair, like usual. Okay. And uh, hopefully he has the resilience of the zombie monkey from before. Okay. Um, he will try to do um, a shooting attack against him. 
because it has to be closest. And so it's a 2 plus his Moxie 5 is 7. Not that good. 4 plus? Yeah, so he definitely doesn't get hit. Dodges. Now, this uh, one in the back here will first attack the zombie monkey. That is 9, and like a 13. And then the next one. Zombies versus zombies? 9 okay. again. So yeah, another 2 melee hits on him. Alright, <coughs> how about you? Okay. Can I have the other dice for yeah. the, the stunned guy try to hit your guy here? Okay, nothing. This guy is going to throw us. Yep. Let's go to stone. Yep. <laughs> oh, 10. So what is that? Like 15? No, just uh, 14. 14? And so then, I'm not even sure we can do that though, because his mass is 3, so he definitely gets one. Just like yours, it's an automatic. I got it. No, okay. I can't use a red one. Oh, no, no, red one. Okay, mini monkey against your boss. Four plus nine. Okay, so Moxie's five. Um, oh, we, we roll that? No. It's okay, so then five. it's, yeah, it's uh, saved. Second monkey against your boss. The one with the bones. Okay. For a top. Ooh, four. Oh, four. No, 13, sorry. 13? Okay. So, E9. 30. Okay, and so what is your stat? Yeah, my stat is 4. And mine is 5. Oh, okay. Because it's my boss. And my leader throw an incredible flaming projectile of incredible squishy consistency between his two allies for a total of 16. That's at him, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't think I, don't think I can do that because my moxie is 5, so that's another uh, hit. It's a yeah, hit. Just yeah, a hit. just a hit. Alright. Okay. So then we do... Combat resolution? Yep. Alright. Well, with initiative, I will start. So up here, this guy rolls a 2, so that means he's gone, because he does it go on without me. Yep. And I've got, uh, I'll do the leader next, and so that is a 6, and so it's you almost had my eye out, so he does not get hurt. And then um, that is it for me, right? Yes. Okay, and then where are you starting at? I start with him. Sorry, guys. That will be a two. Yeah. And our guy resisted. Okay. That's gone. Is the part. Okay. And this, the incredible resident monkey zombie. He's a zombie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's still. Zombie monkey in combat with the two Neanderthals, they just cannot put him down, and the zombie Neanderthal can't either. And so, um, that is it then, so then now we go into, um, six now, right? Or is it seven? Uh, seven. Seven. There is no limit on this style of game just because we're not doing an official scenario. Um, and so we're just gonna, just kind of play it out just to see which, um, boss dies first. And so we will roll initiative. 13. So definitely monkeys have the initiative this time. Yes, definitely we have. Okay, I exhaust all my relic and trick. To be totally honest, no, I have one trick more, but I'm not going to use it. Okay. Uh, what right. about you? I will still try, I'm allowed to continue to try for the mob scene if I can get it. It's hard, but... Um, I rolled two, so I don't get it. I still don't get to do my stone circle. Okay? Okay. I will start with this guy. Mm -hmm. He cannot rush. He's trying to go and bring, oh my gosh. And bring support uh, to the immortal. Uh... Okay. We'll come back after all your movement. Okay. So, we've had some shuffling here, and the, um, we've got two monkeys that have rushed with the orange markers. My boss. And then, um, really, Neanderthals um, could try to disengage here, but they're not going to. So we're going to go into um, melee now, or I should say melee and shooting, for the simians, because they have initiative. And they will go. Zombie monkey against zombie Neanderthal. Two plus eight, ten. Okay. So seven, uh, so I, yeah, seven plus five, so zombie Neanderthal. Survive. Survive. Yeah. He's going to receive a bounce, a stick in the head. Okay. For a total of nine plus two, eleven. Eleven. Okay. 
So that time I do t the zombie Neanderthal does take a hit. Yeah, he was attacked by the back. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, monkey. The rush. Okay. Fantastic four plus nine. Okay. And so my guy's got a buff of eight. And so actually it's automatic. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's the worst try. Right? Yep. And you have one more. One more plus four again. Totally cocked. Yep. Ten? Ten. Yep. Oh. Nope. And then lastly... Flaming Poo! Alright, from, from the Fly leader. Oh, Flying Flaming Poo. That's right. For the leader. Okay. To your leader. Seventeen. Oh my gosh. So that's definitely a hit. Yeah. Alright, so they will have to save. Okay. That. So I will start with... Um, this Neanderthal back here on this monkey, and so I have got nine, and you you saved it, all right. And then um, Neanderthal, zombie Neanderthal will go against the same guy. Um, eight. Ooh, wow! Save both of those. Okay. This is zombie monkey. It's That's right. Mortal. I will. Um, Use my guy, uh, my leader, against this monkey here. Got a buff of eight. Ooh, so yeah, I definitely got one there. Um, okay. Definitely yes. All right, and so that's it, right? Yep. And so then we'll go right into combat resolution, and I will go first. Or no, you will, because you have the initiative. So starting okay. with him. Yep. I need. And that's eight, it, right, eight. for you, or that's it for you? Yep. Yep. Eight or ten. Okay. Cocked, right? Yeah. Seems like. And sorry guys. Here you go. <laughs> One. Okay. They're like monkey leave us. These uh, groups are whittling down. Now and I go. You can go. So I'll start up here. And so that's a melee. I roll a ten. So I laugh in the face of death. And literally I'm in the face of death because it's a zombie monkey. And um, mm. next it will be the boss. And it is a ranged attack, and I roll a 10, so you almost had my eye out, but you didn't take it out. Oh. All right. And so now, um, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, for We see the orange become lesser and lesser. Yeah, yeah. So we will go into the next round. Round 8. eight. Yes, 8. Okay, so we are back, and we were rolling for initiative. And so... 3, 10 in total. That's not a three. Nope. <laughs> so six. So uh, that's eleven. And so you can go. That's right. Neanderthals have initiative back. Um, I'm going to try again for my um, mob rules, and I still don't make it. And so, are you going to be a tricky customer? No. Nope. Okay. Not the final. My guys, this is pretty quick now. We're kind of narrowing down here. Like I have no movement to do. But you do potentially have movement that you can do. So, what are, are you gonna do? Uh, anything in particular? No, just the uh, scenic. Okay. All right. Then I will start with melee, and I will start with at the top with this zombie here on. Uh, excuse me, with this Neanderthal here on the zombie monkey. And so, eight. And so you nice. still survives. No hits on him, and now the zombie Neanderthal will attack the zombie monkey. Eight again. Ooh. So he take, takes a hit, melee hit. And then finally, my boss with a buff of eight will attack that monkey. And that's 18, so that's an automatic. Okay. Okay. How about you? I start with my boss throwing his mystery projectile okay. again to your boss. Yeah, re-roll that one. Seventeen. Ooh. So then, yeah, then definitely take a... It's very precise, but yeah, nothing more. Okay. Zombie monkey decide to change the target. They well, want the brains uh, of him, because he okay. is more like a banana. Okay. <laughs> eight. All right. And uh, eight, nothing. and then, uh, yeah, because it's the stat, yep. And here against here. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Two okay. Plus two four. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we're starting conflict resolution and um, rolled a two for.
for here with the, the boss, so he actually ends up getting another wound. And now I'm going to start up here with this Neanderthal and... Or oh, a, um, no, it's on me. Oh yeah, that's, that one's on you, sorry. Yep. Okay. Something wonky, the survival of everything. Yep. Continue the strand. Okay. With an 8. Alright. And then this and last one here. The last one. Survive. It's good, but not in a good condition. He is nobbled. Okay. So put these here so I can see these two here clearly. All right. Okay, starting round nine, initiative. You roll an eight? Yeah, and 15 in total. But you were all a eight. We have a double trouble. No, oh, seven. And so, so you have the uh, initiative this round? Yes. I will try to run away from your boss. Okay. So you have to do a guts roll? Yep. Yeah. For eleven, okay. three plus nothing. All right. Inside, uh, oh well, also probably I need to roll two. Yeah, but it was a failure. Okay. Um, are you gonna do? You're not doing any tricks, right? Oh no, right. Okay, I'm not either. Well, you know what? I might try to do a um, again do the. So no, I don't have it. I can't get. It. I was gonna try to do the um, uh, mob scene, but I, I can't seem to get it. Okay. I try to move away from you and fail. And obviously, the monkey zombie doesn't do nothing okay. because he's invincible so far. Okay. Okay. Do you want to move? And he's gonna stay. Yes. Okay. Face <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna move. So you can start with your attacks. Okay. Zombie monkey against this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's change target. And fail miserably. Okay. The monkey with the stick in the back of the zombie Neanderthal. Fail miserably. Okay. The novel. The novel one we can consider it would be a failure, but who knows? Okay. It is. And our flaming projectile. Twelve. Ah. It misses finally. Nothing. All right, so now my turn. Yeah, and we will start with this Neanderthal, and he will attack this nobbled monkey. Two plus eight, so ten. Ten. I can only save myself with double nine. But yeah, nothing happened. Okay. All right, and then I will have this Neanderthal attack the zombie monkey. Eight. He failed. Okay. And then the other the zombie Neanderthal will attack the zombie monkey. Oh, and that's only six. Oh, ah! More than enough. Yeah, more than enough. All right, so two on him. Yeah, thank you. All right. And so um, we are doing combat resolution. Yes. Oh, it's all of me this time? That's true. Okay. Uh, little monkey. Yep. It's only for attack or for everything? For all the attack and defense. Okay, okay so not combat the resolution. Incredibly survive again. Okay. But now, the mountain zombie. No. Uh oh. Finally. After hours of incredible conflict. Oh my gosh. <coughs> okay. And the balance of the scale is still put in the terrible. Right. So then we now go and do um, initiative? Yep. All right. Five and two. You win. You win. Oh, I win. You're going, to be a trick, you're going to be a trickster? I wish, but no. Okay. I'm going to again try to my mob scene. Seven, hang, so seven. So I finally get it. Oh. And so that means that um, during this round, the stone circle is what I have, and when Neanderthal boss successfully activates the stone circle mob scene, the buff base stat of all Neanderthals is increased to 10 for the duration of the turn. Like you need. <laughs> all right, now you go. Go, try to disengage from here. Okay. Because in the situation required, fail. Okay. Try to disengage from here. And fail. Okay. Yeah, but at this point, our heroic leader uh, stay where it is. 
and it doesn't move. Okay. So moving, I'm going to move um, this guy here. So you can go 10. I'm going to move him here. A soft dot. Okay. And then that's all of my movement. Okay. All right. Now. Your zombie is no more supported. His doom is near. <laughs> nope. <Four. laughs> Monkey against the boss. Okay. Oh! Eleven. I have a slightly chance to land something. Yeah. No. Okay. And uh, my leader now have a softer target and choose him for a total of... Oh, only nine. Okay. Ah! Now, yours total is 9, but my yeah. total is, uh, oh my is actually uh, 9 plus 3, so, yeah, so, nothing, believe it or not. Please, you're wrong. Okay, so, uh, I will start with this guy throwing it right back at your leader. Oh and my god, he will be hit by his own projectile. So, 6 plus 3, so 9. 9. Okay, so then, yeah, you wait, missed it for sure. Okay, uh, my leader will attack your monkey there. Um, he's actually a 10 now buff because they all have 10 from that uh, ability of the stone circle for a close to combat. And so 16. Well, the blow land yep. without any, <laughs> any problem. And then the last one up here. We can say the same. It's actually 11 because of plus 10. I can say myself. Yeah. What about 10? Ha! Oh, close. 9, not close enough. The destiny show me is laughing in my face. Yeah. Okay, I go for my resolution because it's the only one. Okay. Starting with this guy. Yep. He makes it. He survived. And yep. the guy against the boss. No. Okay. It See, is seems the end is closer and closer. Coming, extinction. Coming near, yeah. Um, this guy here saves, so. Okay. So then we actually start uh, initiative again. Seven. <gasps> oh, two have? sevens. So then we now have to roll um, a die, an even number. It is T Rex, and odd number it's going to be Mammoth because we're just testing the game out. We only have two double troubles prepared, uh, but it is a double trouble. Okay, I will do the honor, and we go with one. Okay, so then it's going to be the Mammoth. Oh, I want the T Rex. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we actually have a mammoth entering the board due to double trouble. It just moved up to this hedge that's on uh, the far side of the board. If we do go a couple more rounds, like it will be traveling from vegetation piece to vegetation piece. It could cause some trouble, but it is a little out of the way at the moment. Um, we will go to... I don't think either one of us have any tricks that we're going to be doing, but we will... Um, you know, I realize that I have one left. Okay, Sorry. you can you can always do that. Yeah, it's called a scamper through the tree. Uh, for one turn moving, uh, I can move to rough terrain like it was not uh, okay. there. Do you have to roll anything? No. Okay. It's just I get the power of monkey. Sounds good. Well, you actually have uh, movement priority, so... Yep. I'm not going to do uh, anything this round, so... I will go. Oh, that is not good. Okay, one. Uh, one plus four. Yeah. Just five. The situation is now improving. Okay. okay. Failure for my incredible evil trick. Okay. And that's... you're not going to try to disengage? That would be a set of things that I try to do right now. Okay. Again, we need to roll um, eight or more. Oh, okay. And, you got uh, it. A monkey run for his life. <laughs> Just think. Okay. myself here yeah all right okay well I will start with this guy here and nine plus one it's a bit thin. yeah so I will go here. 
I'll use my boss. His clip is going to be 6, so 16. So I will go here. I will roll for this guy. It is just 3, so I will go here. All right. Okay. I don't think so I can throw nothing at you, but I try to stab your uh, basic Neanderthal is in end-to-end -end combat with my boss. Okay. For a total of 4 plus 11. 12. Do shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll do the basic guy fighting back. 13. 13. I uh, need a really high roll. That's not the case. Okay. And you're invincible, boss. My boss. So that's going to be 17. No. I can uh, put nothing from my sleeve. Um, for my fur. Okay. My doom. Combat resolution. Okay. If you pass me the dice, we are going to check immediately. To my boss. Two tens. And so definitely you laugh in the face of death. What? Very good. I don't laugh too much, but I'm laughing. <laughs> I go. This guy. One. You cut me. Cut you down. Oh my god. This situation is dramatic. Yes. Okay, so we will come back for the next round. We've stopped counting at this point. We're just seeing who which DOS, boss dies because we're not playing an official scenario. So we'll just come back, see what the mammoth does, and see how this plays out. Okay, so our mammoth has moved to a closer piece of vegetation next to it. Um, it's not really in the way of our warriors here, and we do actually uh, have to roll initiative and just see how that goes. One. Ten. So, uh, have initiative this round. Um, let's see, should I do a dirty trick? Um, no, I think I'm, I'm good. How about you? I exhaust all my options. Alright. I will start with movement. I'm going to stay where I'm at with my leader. I'm going to try to move this guy. He moves five. Okay, and now you. Okay, my solitary monkey tried to bring support to the, his leader for okay. a total of 10. Alright. Let's pop up here. Beside the bushes. Okay. And you can go. Um, okay, I will start with my leader here. So I've got 18. So you definitely have one on you there to defend against. And I will um, use this guy to fire at closest, which is him. And so, nine. Against? Yeah, uh, definitely less. Yeah. Okay, so how about you? I give you back the projectile uh, with a small coat uh, against you. So he's going against him? Yeah. Okay. I cannot roll against the leader. All right. It would be six and four, ten. Okay, ten. So I get uh, ten plus three. Humiliated. Yep. And against your boss. Ooh. <laughs> Failure. Yeah. That, okay. So um, I you just do combat resolution, which yep. would just be for you here. You, you, you take a wound, yeah. You cut me. So now the, your leader monkey has his first wound on him. Oh, is the start of the decline of the monkey race. Yep. <laughs> Mam is still far enough away that it doesn't really make sense for us to uh, really show him. He's just kind of working his way towards this side of the board. But we will roll for initiative. And, um... Two, nine. Not, so you have a nine, nine in total. Oh, alright. And I have 8, 9, 9, 12, 13, so Neanderthals have initiative. Please. Um, I think um, 
I will move. Well, I will I will roll to move, and that's a six inches. I will move here. Now you. I will try to disengage with my leader. My cats are six plus nothing. Plus okay. Three. Not enough. Okay. And my rock monkey come to a ratio. Okay, right there. All right. So I will attack first. I'm going to first attack with my uh, arranged attack. The Neanderthal sure. is going to try to find something to throw at him. Uh, Mox Moxie of three, so that's 13. 13, uh, my Moxie is seven plus, oh. It's the decline of the monkey race. <laughs> now my leader will attack. Buff of eight, so 16. Okay, so that's an automatic hit. And now you go back. Uh, I start with the ranged monkey. Now, sorry. Six. Okay. Um, Your leader is five, the mox? Yeah. Okay, nothing. Yep, so nothing on that. Leader versus leader? No. Two. So what's your toughness? Or the um, buff? Uh, just six. In total. Okay. There's no need yeah. to roll. Yeah. Okay. okay, so then we do combat resolution, and it looks like there's two on your leader. One okay. is for the range. Take a wound. Okay. And close combat. Okay. Take another one. Oh wow! Ah, oh, definitely. You're definitely the, the monkey's definitely taking the heat now. There is no hope. So, we are really approaching the end of this game, um, kind of extended out because we haven't played an official scenario, we just wanted to just do the regular kill the boss thing, um, but the mammoth is actually getting fairly close now um, with the vegetation, you know, kind of halfway towards us. Um, we, do, we are sort of getting really close here. Um, how many um, ticks does your boss have? One left. One left, and where mine has three left. And so um, this may be the end. It couldn't go really much more than one more, I don't think, but we'll see. And so we will roll for initiative. You have seven. And six. six. Okay, six. so you would win initiative? Yeah, initiative is mine. That you doing be... you a trickster this round? No, you've been no, exhausted I at this point. All of that, okay, but I can I'm not going to do any. So I can, I can always try to run away. I use True. my guts. And I do. Okay. Because I'm 11. Let's see how much far I can go. <laughs> Not really far. Well, far possible. Okay. Grab all my wounds. My heroic mini monkey decided it's too, too hot for her to okay. kill him. Alright. Um, Alright. And so then I'll do my movement. I'll start with my my boss. So I just rolled a three plus. Um, I've got a clip of three, so I go six. I'll go here, and then um, I will roll with the other guy. So four plus one is five. I will go here. All right. Okay, boss. Prepare, <laughs> prepare to be covered by gooey substance. Normal monkey, max your four against your boss. Okay. Eight. Okay. My boss. Ignore me like you Ignore usually. Lately. And my boss against the boss, always another uh, curious projectile. 12. Uh, yeah, pass. 14. Yeah, okay. Alright, so my boss will go after your boss. And I've uh, got a moxie of 5. So, 13. 13. Ooh! I avoid. Okay, and then um, my normal guy will go after your boss. Moxie of 3. 13? Uh, yeah, 11. 
Oh, so you get a hit. You have uh, yeah. so much of Maxi with the normal guy? Uh, three. Yeah. Three? Yep. Three, eleven, yeah. Cool. yeah. Eleven. Oh, so it's eleven. So actually it's even, so you it's a miss then. Yep. Yep, so it's exactly even to your stat. Okay? So completely nobody hitting each other that round. So we will um, just uh, move the mammoth to the next closest, um, which would be, yeah, just there. I just move into the side. And now um, we will actually roll for initiative again. Two? Uh oh. Ten. So I've got initiative. Ouch. Um, I'm not doing any dirty tricks. And so I will start with my boss. And he will go after your leader. He makes it. He's just going to go here. And I'll do my normal guy. We'll roll. He has eight. He's going to the closest. But he's going to um, actually, I guess I wonder, do I have to declare a rush before I roll for my movement? Probably. Probably yes. Yeah, so I'll just move him into him as the closest without having done a rush. Um, okay. Good try. Haha. <laughs> uh, those two are on him, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, me, my boss is chained up because technically he didn't rush me, could yep. move away. But I'm not doing, I uh, will face death. But okay. But my rock mount try to rush uh, your dude. Okay. Three. He failed. Okay. But so we'll try to do a normal yeah, roll, or yeah, you can make it. Yeah. Okay. So you have. Uh, no, you. Have oh, that's right. I have. Okay. So I'll do my main guy against uh, your boss. We get eighteen. Why well, we are rolling? Haha. <laughs> and then I'll do this guy against your boss. We've got um, fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. See yep. above. Yep. And now you go. Take my revenge. Normal monkey against your normal uh, guys. Nothing. Okay. And the boss against your normal guy, just for revenge. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. So you take your two dice and you just roll them to see if you. Uh... Oh. Nothing happened. You laugh in the face of death still. Oh my gosh. I'm not laughing. This is that. interesting. Kind of, the factions are pretty balanced, right? I mean, like, we're both down to two. Well, in this moment, I admit the, the grinding is killing me. <laughs> but, I mean, it makes sense. The Nantes are way stronger. But I'm surviving. Um, yeah, I should. So, <laughs> as we've been playing this, the Mammoth has ended up, like, here. Um, and now uh, we roll for initiative. Nine. You definitely have it. Okay. I'm not going to drag nothing and not use any trick because I okay. don't have. What about you? No. And I don't try to run away, but face death. Okay. <laughs> blinking. Okay. And I attack with the normal monkey, your normal uh, Neanderthal. Yeah. For a total of 10. Okay. Normal monkey against normal Neanderthal. So I only have 8 on that one, so I definitely get a hit on my guy. Okay. And uh, I try to eat your uh, boss with mm -hmm. my super monkey, but that is the result. Okay, so um, nothing. yeah, that'll be nothing, right? Okay, so then I'll do my boss on your boss. That's going to be uh, 15. 15, and again. Okay, and then my regular guy. <coughs> Try again. It's going to be six. I can save, I can save, I can save. No. Oh, close. No cigar. Okay. No, actually, sorry, that was against him. Oh, yeah, sure. That makes sense. That okay. Makes sense. Did, you, did that change your number? Uh, I rolled one, right? Yeah. No, he's five. Okay. No, okay. So, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So, now we'll do combat resolution. Do you have the other dice? Yeah. Perfect. That's... You have the initiative or I have the initiative? Um, doesn't matter. I think, I think uh, Let, my roll is more important. Yep. You had it anyway. So you roll a four. Oh. So your leader dies. I think. Yep, definitely. All right. Well, we'll just see if this other Neanderthal died. Um, he nope. didn't. Yeah. And so in the end. Um, I don't have any pleasure in that. Yeah. So Neanderthals win, but like really, really close. We'll just do like a quick recap. Okay. 
All right, Dan, so what did you think uh, of the first sort of try of Savage Core? All right, first of all, I would like to thank you, partner, for the fantastic table. I really enjoy it. For all the job that you did, that you paint everything. <laughs> Because I'm a lazy painter, very, very lazy, and very slow. It took me a really long time. <laughs> to... But I appreciate your effort. Yeah, I like the gaming. It's fast, you know. That I really like fast game. The game is for the drag a little bit, but because we are not playing a scenario. Yeah. Don't take this like a normal game, probably. Yeah. I hope we can play a new one with a scenario. I will try to have my crew painted. It will be the Amazon, maybe. Yes, sorry guys. I really like because it's fast. It doesn't require you to check the book uh, every five minutes to try to remember where we did. But you know, first time, like everything. Yeah, and we didn't really check it that much. And I would kind of agree. I would think that um, some of the scenarios increase the amount of double troubles. Like we saw a double trouble come in at the end of the game, and it's kind of fun because, like, really, like the map is probably at a point now where it's going to be close to um, actually going after guys, and so. Um, it'd be neat to play some of the scenarios that increase your chances and, and, and having multiple double troubles happening. I think that would be neat. And then also just to have an objective. Doing it where we just go after each other's bosses, which it, although that is actually a component of the scenarios where like, you know, if you kill the boss you win. Um, there are other ways to win in the scenarios and I think that would be really neat to try that out. Um, yeah, for sure. What I'm thinking of my war band, the scenarios are nice but terribly average in combat, if not bad, this means that you need to plan really carefully. You can see in some point I jumped my guys in front, it was a terrible error. Probably that was a move to run away <laughs> for the future. But you see, at the end, uh, Neanderthal and normal monkey are more or less balanced. Yeah, I mean, it is interesting. It, you can still go toe to toe, even though they're like the Neanderthals are clearly much better in melee, but the monkeys are much better at throwing stuff. And, well, like. Much, much better, no, but sure better. <laughs> well, at least my role was so terrible that they lose their uh, edge, probably. Also, the monkey have two, guy, two guys more, right? Yeah, they start with two more because they have a rule that allows that. It actually is a little more specific than that. It says, like, for every three... I think it says for every three... We'd have to look at it, every three um, you have a four. character that you, they get an extra one. But you probably have to follow that specifically. But uh, it ended up being that, you know, with your starter packs you normally get, you get an extra two and it... It matches up. So, yeah. what else we can add? You can obviously, because the rules are so thin, you can add whatever thing you want, house rule and everything for each single piece of scenario. Mm -hmm. That is great, very customizable. Yeah. Obviously, if you are a guy who want precise rule for everything, that is no. Yeah. That is not the game. But the skirmish is fast. Yeah. You don't want a fast game. You spend hour and hour looking manuals. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, well, I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, it's a good look at just how, like, the rule set plays, and, uh, you know, we'll, have, we'll be doing more in the future for Savage Core. Can you allow me one thing, Pablo? Sure. <laughs> he, was, he was prepared for everything. That's right, we needed to, <laughs> we needed, to able, needed to be able to put it on the table, we didn't quite get him on there, but, uh, yeah, ne maybe next time, and maybe next time we'll have some other Double Troubles to be able to put in there, too, so... All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and we will have more battle reports in the future for Savage Core. Take care. Thank you, guys. Bye.